All right, I got this DECA power welder. So this is a multifunction welder, 110 volts, 220 volts, MIG, TIG, stick, plasma, you name it, it can do it. Let's get in here and test it out and put it through its paces and see how it does. All right, here we go, DECA power. So this thing looks real good, real, real good, guys. Man, it's really heavy duty. I like this one. This one looks the best out of all of them I've tested so far. So, you know, I got the leads up here. Yeah, so here's your uh, MIG gun, MIG torch. Looking pretty good. It's got a nice grip on there. We got our plasma torch right here. Should be about 50 amp plasma. I got two new bottles. 7525 and 100% uh, argon. Should be good on that. Been practicing my TIG. So I think y'all will be glad to see that. But um, we need to get this thing set up. Got it 220 in the big old cord, 50 amp breaker. Plenty of power. And then here's where the air goes in for the plasma. Um, got it all plumbed up. It used Euro style fittings. So, you know, I had to get it fixed up like this, but we got it plumbed up. Bow. So I got it set up with a big old spool in there. And then it's got a dual feed right here, which is real nice, you know, gets a consistent pressure on that wire, um, you know, really helps with the MIG welding. And then, you know, we can change the polarity right here depending on what process we're using. So I got the MIG hard wire on here. We're gonna do a lot of that with this thing because I got projects I'm working on and we need to put them to the test. So if you need to run it on 110, we got this pigtail here, adapt it 220 to 110, no problem, MIG. All right, we got some eighth inch right here, let's see how it does. So I got about 135 amps on the machine, 220 volts. All right, there we go. Those welds are looking nice. Got the machine dialed in. There's the final weld, looking real good. All right, so that was about 140 amps and turned it down a little bit. And then I got down to about 125 amps. Got the machine dialed in pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Honestly, this one's the best. That's the last one right there after I got it dialed in. Man, that put the heat to that. That's the other side right there of that good weld. The last one, and it really got good penetration through there. I might need to turn it down a little bit, honestly, but, you know, grind that clean. That thing is fused all the way through, huh? TIG. All right, so I got the machine set up for TIG welding here. Got it set to about 120 amps. So the TIG torch goes right here. Um, we have the ground to positive and the electrode to negative. Come over here. I've been dialing it in a little bit. I got the torch set up, it's high frequency start, I like that. So I was just, you know, dialing in uh, some rusty metal here. Here's where I ended up, final weld here. These are kind of nasty, but I got it really cleaned up here so we can see what it can really do. And I'm running argon, 100% argon. You know, comes in like this, goes into the back of the machine right here is how I have it set up. Look at that right there, stacked dimes. Man, oh man, that's TIG welding real nice. Nice and smooth. Told you I've been practicing.
Oh yeah. Man, oh man. There you go, there's two TIG welds right there. Yep, TIG welding is the best on this machine. So far, the best process, it's better than the MIG, man. It's nice and smooth. Stack dimes. Stick. All right, so we got some 7018 right here. I'm gonna run me a bead right in between those MIG welds right there. All right, so there's the stick weld right there in between the two MIG welds. So let's try another weld. That's looking pretty good though for me. I'm not the best stick welder. I do best with MIG. MIG's my favorite, but we're gonna try another test here. See what we can get it to look like. Alright, so that's a good stick weld for me. That's pretty good. I still need to get the machine dialed in. It's like the second stick weld I got going with this machine, but I'd say it's pretty good. It's not going to break. You know, it's not stacked dimes, but pretty good. So we got 105 amps on the machine, and then we got 105.6 amps on the meter. So it's putting out great current, exactly what the machine says. And plasma. So let's get this plasma cut right here. I got it set up. I'll show you how I got it set up. All right, so we got the plasma cutter set up. We're gonna do 50 amps, crank it to the max, why not? So it goes in the middle right there is gonna be your ground. And then it just screws in right there where I got my amp meter right there for your plasma. So here you go, just like that. And then the work piece right here, what we got going on is we got that eighth inch right here with a big old weld on there. We're gonna slice it up, see how it does, see how it cuts. All right, so it's plasma time. Let's do a little bit of plasma cutting. Plasma is my favorite. MIG and plasma are my favorite. So we're gonna cut up what we just welded up, see how it does. A little bit of thick steel, a little bit of thin steel. See what kind of power it's got to cut some of this stuff. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice clean cut, it cut that fast. Don't worry, I'm gonna put it on uh, some three quarter inch and see how it cuts it. But that cut is nice and clean. There you go, you can see it just like that. So let's see what it does with some quarter inch, uh, some three quarter inch, cut some thick steel. All right, so we're gonna get some of this quarter inch plate cut, no problem. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, that's a nice cut. So I'm holding the torch up. I'm not dragging it on the steel. It's cutting pretty good. Cut that quarter inch. No problem. 
So here we go, three quarter inch right here. This is the test of all tests. That big old thick piece of steel, let's see how it cuts it. All right, there we go. I caught a severance cut. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna flip it over. Let's see if we can get a clean cut through it. I'm gonna crank up the air. What I'm noticing with this one is you gotta kinda hover it. So it's wanting to blow out about half of it, you know, cut. Um, you can cut one side, flip it, cut the other side, and you can cut three quarter inch, but I mean, come on, who needs to cut three quarter inch? It'll cut three eighths, it'll zip right through that, and I'll prove it to you here in a second. There's the 3 8 inch cut right there, looking good. Oh wow, we got 49.3 on the meter. Come up here, we got 50 amps on the machine. It is reading and putting out exactly what it says on the machine. So it's doing well, it's doing real well. I mean, you know, it's welding good, it's uh, plasma cutting good, and I'm glad we get it tested before the summer hits, because man, oh man, it is hot, hot out here, but that's all right. Machine's doing good. Um, we got some heavy duty repairs I'm working on, so y'all find out what that's for. But uh, yeah, I'm liking the machine so far. All right, so let's take a minute here and look at the settings. Um, it's got a ton of settings in here, but don't get intimidated. It's not too bad. I mean, really, it's got everything you need in here. And honestly, I just pulled it out of the box and I just adjusted the amperage here. You know, if you want to get started with it, you can put it on sync, which is synergic for MIG. And then you can just adjust the amps, you know, it goes up to 200 amps, um, goes down to 60 amps on 220. But you know, you, you have your standard settings in here, like you can adjust the um, voltage offset. So, you know, like you can have it, uh, see, it's 23 instead of whatever set the synergic mode from the factory. You know, you can also do like a negative offset so that you get less voltage, stuff like that. See, now it's 17 um, at this amperage. But then you can also adjust, you know, just like the wire diameter, 2T versus 4T, that's for pulling the trigger. There's a spot function, um, tons of functions in here. Um, right here, if we press this, you know, iron CO2, iron argon CO2, flux, no gas, stainless steel argon CO2, Aluminum, silicon, that's for uh, aluminum right there, argon, aluminum, magnesium, argon, you know, everything you need in here. But then you got like induction, um, what is that, pre-flow gas, burn back time, post-flow gas, then we're back to amperage. So um, it's like that for every mode, which is cool right here, MMA. You gotta read the manual, see, but you know, anti-stick, arc force, I know that, hot start, VRD, that's so you don't get shocked as much. 
um, helps prevent you getting shocked tons of functions in here so I mean you can really sit down anti-stick I probably should have turned some of this on but I was just out of the box um, arc force you know you gotta play with it get it how you want but TIG uh, I like the TIG I'm gonna say it again pre-flow gas post flow gas you know amperage there ain't much for TIG I mean and then this pulse function um, I didn't test that but you know pulse mig put put that to zero I wouldn't offset that until you really want to dial it in but I'd leave that on zero tons of settings in here burn back time but yeah that's pretty much it manual I mean I normally do synergic because I when I do this I'm not a welder right so I just want to fix my thing so I just grab it synergic I know what amperage about I need to weld whatever set it to it 100 amps weld the thing and I'm done you know if you really want to dial it in and you're a legit welder put it on manual and you can set it exactly how you want for your piece of steel wire feed speed everything there you go there's the functions it, it seems intimidating it's not you, you can just set it and forget it once you figure it out you've got it set you'll be good to go good to get welding and I'm gonna make sure I put all this stuff back because <laughs> it's all come in here to start welding and it'll be all set wrong but yeah that looks right 2t 35 yep 0.035 just like that there's all the settings all right, so the welder did really well. I was impressed with the TIG. The MIG was good too. I've had the most practice with MIG, but man, the TIG on this machine is real nice with the high frequency start, and it's real smooth. Um, it's got a nice arc to it. That was the best process on this machine so far, the best I've tested. So sticks good too. Plasma, um, you know, you cut some thinner steel with the plasma on this. I would recommend thinner steel, you know, quarter inch, eighth inch all day long, no problems but um the tig was nice you know and it's got plenty of amperage so you know if you want to weld some thick steel on 220 you can do it but you can also do 110 volts too just all these processes are the same on 110 volts just get less amperage you just got to use that pigtail hook it up so i didn't test that in this video it's the same thing you know but either way i like the machine um i'll check you on the next welder review videos we're going to be using this thing and some other future upcoming projects i got a bunch of welding projects we need to tackle so you're going to see this machine more check it out on the next video later